Welcome back to the Obscure Sports Corner, where everyday issues are battled out on the courts. I'm Debbie Watson, and here's the news. Today, down at the local public school's Field of Science, is an event taking place that can only be described as all too familiar. It is, in fact, a dodgeball game where intelligent designers have once again challenged evolutionists for the right to the field of science and the kick-ass title of scientific theory. As used in science, a theory is an explanation based on observation, experimentation, and reasoning, especially one that has been tested and confirmed as a general principle helping to explain and predict natural phenomenon. The incumbent in this quarter is modern evolutionary theory, which is a robust explanation for how life on Earth evolved through time by the passing on of certain traits from one generation to the next. It is one of the most studied, tested, and accepted theories in science. In this corner, we have intelligent design. This is based on a concept of irreducible complexity. An idea that some things found in nature are just too complex to be explained by natural selection and are best explained by some intelligent cause or intelligent designer. Yeah, those look about right. Yeah, definitely. And with that being said, let's take a look at our contenders. for the dodgeball game, explaining a couple of rules that they need to follow on the field of science. Brad? Thank you, ma'am. Pleasure to be here. Excellent. Just want to start explaining these rules like this. The rules of the field of science are, you start with an observation that evokes a question. It's rule one, create a hypothesis. Rule two, you got to perform an experiment or test. This is probably one of the most important aspects of science can't be tested for, it ain't science. Rule three, publish your findings in a peer-reviewed journal. Rule four, verification, such that every scientist who tries your experiment comes up with the same results every time. In time, follow the rules, and if experiments continue to support your hypothesis, you've got yourself a scientific theory. Thank you so much for coming. It was a pleasure. Coming up next, coverage of the dodgeball game. All right, people, today's topic is the origin of species and all their complexities. I want to see some freaking good questions, clean hypotheses, good experiments, all right? Let's make it a clean game. Start. And Johnson from the ID side has his first line of evidence, which is irreducible complexity. The idea that certain biological systems are too complex to have evolved from simpler or less complete predecessors. It seems a bit weak when it hits Darwin and he's devolving back to the origin of the species. And they can't even believe that that counted. <laughs> And Scopes is dodging some more of their weaker arguments. We see the pass off. Scott has fossil records, which provides a snapshot of the past, and when assembled, illustrate a panorama of evolutionary change over the past four billion years. And 
Scopes has direct observation. The best known examples for this are Darwin's finches and antibiotic drug resistance. And it looks like a bit of what? poor sportsmanship from the ID side. Let's see how Behe handles this. Things are just too complex. You gotta have an intelligent designer. How are you gonna test that? Uh, you just gotta have faith. and the testing of an intelligent designer falls flat. Ugh, rough day for the ID movement. Let's see if the evolutionists can take this one home with genetic analysis and comparative anatomy. With the discovery of DNA, along with huge technological advancements in the last 100 years, this seems to be a heavy hitter for the evolutionists. Evolutionists win! Whew! And wasn't that a nail-biter, folks? Evolutionists have once again defended their title as a scientific theory where intelligent design failed to prove it was one. Our reporter in the field, Courtney Crick, is on the scene with a rundown of the game. Courtney? I can hear you now, Deb. So, I'm standing here with Michael Behe, and he's going to give us his thoughts on the end of the game. Thanks, Courtney. Uh, I feel like we put up a really good fight, but uh, they just weren't playing by the same rules. I, the, I feel like the, the field was really skewed in their direction. I mean, the ref just didn't understand our concepts. And what are those concepts? That uh, things are so complex, there had to be a designer. So unlike a true scientific theory, the existence of an intelligent designer cannot be tested. Right. And so you're primarily faith-based. Right. Well, there you have it. I'm Courtney Crick for the Obscure Sports Corner. Back to you in the studio, Wait, Deb. no, that's not what I meant! <laughs> Thanks, Courtney. That's all the time we have for today on the Obscure Sports Corner. I'm Deborah Watson, and never stop thinking. Is that it? Are we good? Awesome. All right.